Uh, hi, everyone. Uh, great to uh, meet all of you. Uh, I'm Ayush, one of the co-founder and CEO of Huddle One. I started Huddle One with my co-founder, Sushmit, who's also here back in the day uh, during uh, the TechUn Accelerator. So we were essentially a company which came out of uh, the first accelerator which Protocol Labs had uh, funded with consensus. So yeah, really grateful for that. Uh, today, I'm going to talk about Huddle One, our journey, and how what we are building. So Huddle is a people-powered communication network. What we are building is essentially the first decentralized physical infrastructure network for real-time communication. What we are doing right now here is real-time communication, but once you do that in a digital environment, that's where things get, that things get tricky. Now, the biggest problem right now is that all these RTC apps and infrastructures which you're seeing are getting crushed by huge data transfer cost and compute cost, which are charged by cloud providers. These are some of the graphs of some of the leading CPaaS players, which has been down to the complete uh, trenches because the cost which they're paying to AWS in terms of data out transfer is extremely, extremely high. If we just talk about right now, if we, you and I are doing a video call for one hour, that whole video call for one hour between two people takes one GB of data. If you put that one GB of data onto AWS, ingress is free because that, that's what AWS wants. But egress, which is the data out, it's very, very expensive. And that's where AWS makes the maximum money out of it. There will be a lot of call outs actually by the centralized providers like even uh, Cloudflare, who has called AWS's data out as egress, egress, the very, very high data market costings. Just to give you an example of that, is that right now, if AWS pays $1 to an internet service provider, it charges $80 to Zoom. So that's the kind of markup which they have. And that's the reason why Zoom is of $22 or $24 or $20 at different kind of places. And this is what also Equinix had talked about, that the hidden cost of cloud. It's one of the most hidden costs, and it's maximum bait by this UGC-generated kind of content out there, which is like Zooms, Google Meets, TikTok Lives, and much more. So this is right now how on the left side, which you see is that how currently the RTC apps and infrastructures work. You see this Zoom, whereby Google Meet, Air Meet, around. These are all the apps which we all use. Clubhouse as well, in the past. And these all run on the CPaaS-based platforms, which are like Zoom, Agora, Twilio, LifeKit, and much more. But all of these run on cloud, either AWS, or GCP, or Azure, or DigitalOcean. Now, the problem is, again, as we discussed, about the data out costing. So you don't have to pay a lot on compute when you're doing an audio and video, but you have to pay a lot on bandwidth. And that's where they charge money. And that's where we have come up by building our own people-powered network. All of us here who are doing, who have, who are using, uh, have a good home computer, has a good bandwidth of around 300 Mbps of uplink and downlink, which you can use, essentially, to power these kind of calls. So we can create this alternate network, which essentially can power the call uh, which can make sure that Zoom and all the other RTC apps can use that to basically for their data out costings. So this is what we are building. Uh, so in future, apps like Zoom can run on Huddle01, uh, but right now we have to bootstrap demand, and that's what we have been seeing in the DPN networks, that you have to balance between demand and supply. So what we did was that we built our own app. We built our own SDKs, so that we already have bootstrap demand. So we have more than 3 million units of demand already on the platform, and now we are slowly building the supply side to make sure that we can give this supply, move away from this cloud providers towards uh, the people-powered network. Now this is the most interesting slide. This is a vetted, validated slide even when I was pitching this in front of an AWS person, is that if you're using Zoom right now, uh, the costing which you pay is, uh, if you're just having a 24-7 traffic or 2,000 peers, is three and a half million dollars which is extremely high, and this is because of the markup costing which is out there. This costing, essentially, Huddle Zero One, what we are building, this costing goes down completely from three and a half million dollars to, to less than 130K. Even it goes even lower, but uh, that's more on a theoretical limit. We have to see how much lower can it get once we involve crypto economics into the picture. Now, this is the uh, emerging deep in market we have been seeing right now how Filecoin was the kind of flag bearer to Deepin before even Deepin was uh, made a term. Uh, and so basically in storage, we have been seeing Filecoin leading the way. We have compute with render, Akash doing well. Then we have 5G and IoT and then big data with mapping and all, with demo and all the others doing well. And Huddle is doing the same thing for egress, which is the bandwidth data out transfer cost. 
This is our zero-one technology. Uh, we have two layers. The supply side is DRTC network, and the demand side is app and the SDK. Uh, so we have built the app and SDK first. That means we built demand first. So you can use Huddle One right now in your own iOS phone. So you can use that on your in your mobile app, uh, both on Android, on, on iOS. It's very simple to use, very fast to use. So it's peer to peer till four people and post that basically you have to scale it out. So that's where it also becomes centralized. But this is how we have bootstrapped the demand side. There are a lot of interesting things there. We store our recordings on IPFS and Filecoin. Uh, we do live streaming uh, via live peer. We use different kind of composable stack to make sure that the experience is as good and better. Uh, would love for you guys to try it out. Uh, this is the applet and we have an SDK which looks very similar to how a Twilio or this kind of SDKs look like. Uh, and But you can run these different kind of build your own Zoom, build your own Clubhouse, build your own these kind of apps and we have been seeing a lot of people, we've done a lot of hackathons even with Filecoin doing the FVM hack and a lot of people have built very interesting stuffs where they have built this video and with the programmable storage. So interesting stuff we have been doing to make sure that people are building this kind of uh, uh, new uh, native uh, video conferencing platforms. And this is the DRTC network which we just talked about. Uh, this is the technical architecture of Huddle One. Right now, essentially, we uh, we basically in the future what we are doing. This is the current architecture. In the future, what we are doing is that we'll be having our own uh, observer. We'll have our own orchestrator, which can make sure that it will give the tasks to the media node operators like you and me. So media node operators are. Uh, more like the muscles, while the orchestrators are the brain, which will, has the business logic and which gives uh, this task to all the uh, media node operators which are out there. Uh, this is Huddle01 uh, node which will be coming out. You, 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 can have, you can buy this node in future or you can basically just use your own uh, laptop as a node provider and you can basically just give your bandwidth and you'll be getting tasks from the orchestrators of Huddle01. Uh, this is the demand side bootstrapping. We have already done more than three and a half, two and a half million minutes of meeting. Uh, I think the first ones to use that was the protocol labs team. So thank you for that as well. Uh, that's how we started getting the bootstrapping of our demand. And we have done more than 35, we have more than 35,000 users, more than 53,000 meetings, and more than three minutes of meeting has been done on the platform itself. And this is the business model. We have three pronged business model network where you can purchase DRTC minutes or you can stake. Uh, you can do a node sales. On the infrastructure, we have this. You can build, use our SDKs and people pay for that in terms of minutes. Or you can use our app uh, uh, and pay for that just like you pay for Zoom, but much, much lesser costings. Uh, and yeah, this is the, the kind of diagrammatical version of what we are building in terms of, uh, uh, of how this whole, uh, uh, of this whole basically scenario works like. Uh, this is the whole roadmap of Huddle One in terms of uh, how we are moving forward. So in, in Q2, we are launching our white paper, uh, having our node sales. Uh, we are doing early bootstrapping of the demand. Uh, we are doing the incentivized testnet. Uh, we are exploring IPC for the same thing. So is here, he'll be talking about that more. Uh, we are also having our own staking subsystems so that we can make sure that the people who are media node operators are essentially giving an actual good service. And yes, post that, we'll be doing a mainnet launch. Uh, yeah, this is our team. We've been building for the last three and a half years. We're a team of 25 people. Uh, and yeah, thank you so much for having me and thank you so much for listening. Yeah.